Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So thank you very much for your support. Thank you for always watching my videos, for sharing, liking and leaving a comment uh, down below. Uh, thank you very much for all the new subscribers, for all the returning subscribers. Thank you very much for the support. So I'm back here today with another new video. I'm going to show you the electric oven which is Beko. Uh, the brand is Beko uh, and it's a pretty brand new oven which I've not even started using but I'll be with you and uh, I'll also give you some few tips on what you should do to your electric oven before you use it. So maybe I can ask have you ever bought an electric oven and uh, you tried using it for the first time and you probably felt that plastic smell and you didn't know what was happening or rather where it was coming from but after a short period of time you realized that the smell went and disappeared so i'll also show you and tell you why you experienced that and how to prevent that from happening and uh, with that please stay tuned and watch till the end as i show you more parts of uh, the electric otg oven which is Beko. so guys here is the otg electric oven and uh, I'm going to show you how it looks inside. Uh, it comes with a manual and it's always good to read your manual. Please be reading your manuals for the directions on how to use your elements. So you read through the manual and you'll find the information you need. So it also comes with this pan, which is it's a very huge pan. It's big enough for your cooking. Uh, it also comes with this rot rotisser. It comes with a rotisser. You'll use it to grill your chicken. Uh, it also comes with this grill. It comes with a grill. Uh, it also comes with another baking tray. It's also big enough. As you can see, and it's also deep enough. It can fit your baking. So that is it. So the other thing you need to note about this electric oven is that it's a convection oven. And by that, uh, it means that it also has a fan inside. So when you're cooking, you're able to use a fan to cook your food and it has an electric element for bottom and top so it also has a bulb inside there so that you can be seeing your food as you cook through this glass door so the next thing i'm going to show you is how it functions and i'm also going to take you through these knobs so guys now here we are we have the first knob is the timer this is the timer you set your cooking time with this and you'll hear the clocking time so yep now the next one is the temperature which runs from zero all the way to 230 degrees which is maximum yep you, you use that based on your recipe then the other knob we have here is the the cooking elements that you'll be using so the first one we have the bottom element if you want to bake your food. The next one is the top element if you want to grill your food. The other one is the both top and the bottom element. We, this is mostly used when you're baking a cake. And then the next one is both the bottom and up element with a fan. You use this mostly when you're baking your chicken or rather when you're baking your food using several trays and in this case we can see that our oven has two trays so that means you can have two meals at the same time and for it to cook faster and evenly you are recommended to use a fan so this is what it's used for then the other one you use it to bake because you're using the bottom element as you use a fan to at the same time so now down here we have a button 
this is the on and off button for the rotisser when you want to grill your chicken or you want to use the rotisser function this is the on and off function for that purpose so guys let's turn on our oven for the first time ever and at this point i'll now show you or explain to you why you should burn in your oven before you use or before you start cooking with it so guys here's the main reason why you need to burn in your oven before you use it and normally when during assembling of these electric gadgets uh they normally use some coating and you realize that by the time you're using it or you're turning on your oven the coating will be melting away and then you'll be smelling some plastic smell so uh, just be aware that it is normal for the electric gadgets to have some plastic smelling and it is also advisable that you burn in your electric elements mostly the ovens and uh, to avoid you having that smell in your food so right away we are going to burn in my electric oven together and uh, we shall see how it behaves so guys let's now turn on our oven So that's the temp that's the timer and i'm going to do the maximum temperature and i'm also going to do both top and bottom elements so guys this is how the oven looks like uh that's the bulb up there and you also have the fan you can see some perforated holes back there that's the fan we have our timer at 30 minutes we have our temperature at the maximum we have our heating elements at both top and bottom so we're going to give it 30 minutes for it to burn in i can already start smelling the plastic smell that tells you that burning has started guys the next thing you also need to know is that these metals were also painted they were coated so the excess coating is what will be burning away that's why you'll be smelling that smoky smell or plastic smell <laughs> 